That was a Stanfield boat, by the way, if you're watching. Uh, Thames Challenge Cup. Uh, now, we, sorry, it's the Fawley Challenge Cup, not the Thames Challenge Cup. It's the Fawley Challenge Attention. Cup for junior boys. Go. Scholars, Clare's Court School, the local school from Maidenhead, on the left of your picture and closest to the island, it is Henley Rowing Club A Crew. Good matchup between these two relatively local schools, or club, and, and Henley Rowing Club, of course, a club, Clare's Court a School. And we're just watching the replay of them off the island, Henley Rowing Club with a very slight lead. These crews would have raced throughout the domestic calendar. I know Claire's called, they've got bronze medal at that school, so they're probably one of the favoured crews to make it through to Saturday. So it'll be really interesting how Henley, you know, deal with being underdogs on their home stretch. I know they had a tight race against Marlow Rowing Club A yesterday. They won by three quarters of a length. It's uh, Stern three of the quad from Henley that raced in the Fawley last year, lost to Leander Club in the quarterfinals. And, uh, well, Guy Hutchins and Dave Wallace in the stern of that boat are in the GB Trials system. And Hutchins won gold in Munich in the junior men's double. So a lot of experience in the Henley boat who are maybe just leading slightly Claire's court who are a selected crew. Yeah, it's really tight. There's, doesn't look like much in it. So it's that once again grinding confidence as you race up the race uh, the track. Trying to put the other crew under pressure, playing those mind games. There's definitely not much in it. Place Court selected because they came third in championship quads at the National Schools Regatta. They have got the Fawley Challenge Cup back in 2016 to add to their school honours board. That was a fantastic quad coached by Tom Jost, who works with Place Court now. He's director of sport and performance at Head of rowing at uh, Clare's Court. This is such a tight race. Henley Rowing Club had led out. But Clare's Court, uh, they, they had a good second half in that 2016. They really did well. Very low draw, you know, and Clare's Court crews tend to step on through the season. Which is what you want, really. You want to kind of, you know, start at one point and just be able to keep evolving. But this is like. Yeah, babble to babble. What a great race before the lunch break. We're going back to live pitches. You can see Claire's Court have edged out as they come along the enclosures. They have a half a length lead over Henley Rowing Club. It's all or nothing now for the men from Henley Rowing Club. Can they get back on Claire's Court? It doesn't look like it. Claire's Court have managed to eke out as they generally do in the second half of the course. A great win. They're going to come up to the finish line, barring accidents, and take this heat of the Fawley Challenge Cup. They open their account at this Henley, Henley Rowing Club. Well, they got that win yesterday, but today proved a to race too much for them. Clare's Court beat Henley, Mark. Yeah, that was a solid second half from Clare's Court. Looked really tight to halfway, and then just stamped their authority and you know showed their class of how successful they've been this season and moved away. So, yeah, really impressive second half there from Clare's Court. So we've seen the...